All right, here we are back for another round of toilet installation punishment. So I was thinking about shutting the fan off, but I'm gonna have to pull that towel out in a minute. So we'll have all those septic fumes come back up. But anyway, a couple hours later, the new toilet has arrived. And so the first thing I'm gonna do, that I've already done rather, is I've made a mark around my washers for my studs inside the flange. And my particular kit comes with bolts for these, comes with everything actually. Um, but all of these individual pieces, including if your flange is busted, they make adapter kits and replacements. And it's hard to see from the video, but my screws are covered by wax. These flanges aren't very old. I'm reusing them. Uh, the supply line for the water is not very old either. But because the kit came with all new stuff, I'm just going to use it. So, you know, that way I don't get down the road and these bolts are rusted and I can't back off the nuts or, you know, maybe I have an issue with my supply line or whatever. So I'm just replacing all of them. So the reason I made these marks is I'm making an assumption that somebody has already leveled the existing toilet. And I know from doing this two times before this, that these marks are gonna be acceptable for a gap for my tank back here on the wall, okay? So I've already got my marks and I've already backed these off. So I'm just gonna loosen these a little bit and that's gonna allow us to move them through the guide on each side and pull them out. And we're just gonna spin them a little bit because these are rectangular in nature so that allows them to be backed out. That one is out as well, so I'm just gonna throw that in the garbage. Now, <clears throat> these new ones, I like these older ones because they've got a washer and a nut and they stick in place pretty good. But the thing is, is that, and I'm assuming why they do this now, is you just get a lock washer that's plastic. And the thing about it is, is that particularly when it comes to toilets, you don't over tighten anything. Uh, that's really the only mistake you can make is if you're trying to over tighten something. Don't over tighten anything, you're just gonna make your life miserable. So these new ones have just this locking plastic washer that as long as you get these seated, when you go to put your nuts on, once the toilet's seated on it, it's gonna suck these up because this bolt will be rotated. It'll be locked in there like this and so that nut will secure it in place and the toilet seat won't move. So we're just gonna throw these away and then I'll go get these new ones here. By the way, I'm not gonna do any editing with this video uh, because I hate editing. I think it's boring. And also it gives people the impression that these are five minute jobs, 15 minute jobs, whatever. And if you're just blown through it, yeah, you probably could finish it in five, 10, 15 minutes, I don't know. But uh, I like to do things cautiously and carefully because I don't wanna do things twice. So here's our new bolts. Okay, nice and shiny. And here's those plastic washers I was talking about with the teeth, okay? So we're just gonna get those bolts down in there, slide them in generally where we were before. We've got a little bit of debris in here. That's okay because that's probably gonna line up just fine. And then we'll get to setting those in there. Now I'm gonna check the destructions to make sure I'm putting on my washers correctly. The impression side should be face down. Okay. So we're just going to put that on there and uh, slide it down. You can rotate it too. That's fine. And as long as you're generally within your mark and you can see that I am here, you're good to go. same thing here okay and then the only other thing you want to do is just make sure that 
everything is as tight as it can be. So you just pull up on the bolt and push down on the washer. Same thing over here. See, those are solid and that's all it needs to be. Just make sure I'm lined up on my mark okay. That's square, that's square. Okay, so we're good. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the phone and we're gonna set the mud ring with the flange. We're gonna do that on the toilet. So if you get this in a kit, that's what the mud ring looks like. You can get it with the flange on. This one came with the flange, okay? Prior to buying this toilet, I made no assumptions, so I bought a mud ring without the flange. I was just gonna reuse my old one. Uh, but again, this came with a kit, so I'm just gonna replace everything. So what I'm gonna do uh, to soften the wax up is I'm gonna run it under warm water here for a minute. So we'll be right back, I'm gonna do that. I've got one of these water saving nozzles on my uh, sink head. So it takes a minute to warm up. This doesn't take too much either. You know, just run it under there for a minute, get it a little bit soft. If you've had this in the garage on a warm summer day, it's probably gonna be soft enough too. You don't have to freak out about it. Just, just soften it up a little bit. Water's still cold even yet. Still going, still going. I might switch to the other sink. Nobody wants to watch nothing. Well, I've got the water going the whole time, I'm sure. Oh yeah, instant hot water in this other guy here. So we'll just rotate it, it's within the plastic right now. I'm not soaking it directly. Just rotating it, getting a little bit hot on the outside. I'll go ahead and pull it out of the water, shake it off a little bit and pull it out of the plastic. Normally I use gloves when I do this with working with this wax because it just kind of gets everywhere on all your tools and your fingers, but I can't find my gloves, so we're going full dirty today. <clears throat> okay, so grab your new toilet and put it upside down so it's on a solid level surface. And then we're gonna take our ring here and I, you can't screw this up, but you're just gonna put it right over the top of your hole there. Flange side is up and you're just gonna press it on there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Try to get it as perfect as you can, you know, so it's center and then just press down on it a little bit here and there. See how that wax is kind of soft and it's taking the impressions, I'm heating it up, just push it down a little bit here. All you're really trying to do, you're not trying to get a good seal at this point, you're just trying to make sure that it sticks on the toilet so that way when you go to set it on your bolts, it doesn't move or shift, okay? We'll set the foam down again, that's sufficient. We'll go right back on our assembly down there. Remove the wax from my fingers. All right, so this is the point where we're gonna take uh, a rag that's blocking all the fumes out. So that's gonna smell great for a minute. <clears throat> Recheck those again. All is well. Around, we're within our, within our still within our holes there. And just remember, these will tighten up. It's not that big a deal. I bet you that I am far more anal than most people when it comes to stuff like that, but. All right, so. <clears throat> tools out of the way. Smell the lofting air. Oh, yes. And. Uh, we're gonna get our toilet, manhandle it. And then we're just gonna put that right down on the bolts. And I know that that's gonna be a really uh, not ideal view. Um, 
for the video, but it is what it is. Okay, so the main thing here is try not to move it too much when you set it down. And don't apply pressure to the actual toilet. Let me get a, let me see if this is a better view for you. Nope, that is in the way. Yeah, it's not that great. Let's take a look at our bolts anyhow. So you can see, you know, from the foundation of the old bowl that it's not lining up with the grout. And, you know, this is probably a good time to mention too, I'm not gonna seal or grout that or anything like that because if we do have a leak, we wanna see it. We don't wanna lock the water underneath the toilet and not know about it so it leaks onto the subfloor, right? So, don't seal it yet. In fact, what I do with these is I just don't do any caulking or sealing your grout or anything like that for uh, a couple days uh, to make sure that it's solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the phone down again because I am gonna take a measurement here from the back of the wall to make sure that that's square. So stare at a toilet bowl, bowl for a little longer. So, from the back of the bowl, on both sides is about a three and a quarter inch. Okay, so it's not off too big. Just want to make sure that it's square. Three and a quarter, three and a quarter. So the right hand side is is off a little bit. So we're just going to rotate it ever so slightly, to square up with the wall. Okay, good, good, that looks much better. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna lock it down. And so the first thing we need to do is grab our washers and our nuts. So in my kit, there's a little plastic washer that comes with the caps. If you're reusing your bolts, you might have to cut off the head of your bolt to fit underneath the caps. These bolts, I know from doing this before, are perfectly sized for these caps. Um, so that is not going to be an issue here. Let's see if I move the phone over here if we can get a better view. Um, tell you what, how about we go directly on the toilet? Aha! Not working. Okay, so the first thing you put down is these little plastic tabs. And it's gonna <clears throat> have a, a marker, if it's newer, that says this side up, right? And that, uh, that little tab, tab washer, is gonna go underneath your regular metal washer and then your nut. Um, but before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, at this point, because I'm satisfied with the location of the toilet, I'm actually going to press down. I'm going to put my whole weight on the toilet. You know, I'm going to actually stand on the toilet from my knees, you know, in a couch position, and just kind of mash down on it, get a good seal, you know, sit down on it there a little bit. All right. And when you're satisfied with that, Move on to the bolts. And just, you know, kind of push down on it, apply pressure, just get it, see it real good. And then you'll be off to the races. Okay. So, this, see, we got this little white, we got the little white retainer, and that is for the, the uh, cap for the. Uh, the bolt and the nut. So that guy goes on first. And actually it does say, you can see on it, it says this side up. It just doesn't get any easier than that. And then your washer and then your nut. Now, I'm gonna 
take a look at that and see if this cap covers that gap. It looks like it will. If it doesn't, I will adjust it a little bit because I'm not going to be satisfied with that gap if there is one. Perfect. Okay, so again, with these, you don't over tighten these. In fact, just get it, just kind of get it hand tight like so, leave it alone, go to the other side. Same thing over here. This side up, see how the other side is bezeled? That'll face down. This side up, it goes on here, and your washer. tell you is rotate these things evenly you know so do a quarter turn over here and do a quarter turn over here okay another quarter turn over here another quarter turn over here you'll just feel it you know You'll feel how tight they are, and you'll just, you'll know. And one over here. I mean, every time you tighten it up on one side, you know, it's going to be a little bit looser on the other. And that's really all it needs. You, don't, you just don't need to over tighten anything. You know? Get on the toilet, try to move it around. I mean, the phone is sitting on the brand new toilet bowl. You can see that I can't move this around whatsoever. This thing's rock solid. Try to pick it up, it's not going anywhere. We'll do maybe a quarter, another little quarter turn. I'm happy with that. Then another little quarter, quarter turn there. We're good. Okay, so now you can put your caps on. So people can't see your mistakes. <laughs> okay, and then the other side. to it okay so now we'll go ahead and hook up the uh, fresh water supply on the valve side obviously we don't have a tank in place yet so there's nothing to hook it up to so on this guy I'm just gonna finger tight finger tight finger tight Some folks use this opportunity to replace their shutoff valve. I'm not doing that today, although I probably should. I'm not gonna do it. But you remember what I said with this project? Don't over tighten anything. This is this is plenty. That's plenty. No big over tightening. It'll break something. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is there's this rubber grommet slash bushing that has to sit inside the back of the bowl before we put the tank on. And then you've also got some buffers uh, that rest underneath the back side of the tank. So the tank is not sitting directly on the toilet bowl. So you see how this has a bezel? It should be really obvious which way this goes. It just sits right in there. Probably the easiest part of the job. Then you got these little bushing clips. They go on the back here. If these don't stay on for you, sometimes they don't, you can still put the tank on and raise the tank up. You wanna make sure that the tank's mail end sits inside this groove real good. 
But uh, well, I just realized you can't really see those bushings very well. There you go. But you can still get the tank on and adjust these later. It's not that big a deal. You don't have to rush to get the, get the tank on just because they pop off. Okay, so we'll go grab the tank. The toilet should have come with everything pre-installed when it comes to the mechanics of it. If you bought a toilet and that didn't happen, you may have been ripped off. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. And thank God, right? Because uh, we don't want to be putting all that together. For those of you who are cheaping it and uh, saving on your old toilets, that's what I did. I replaced the internals for a long time, got away with it. But, uh, say la vie, it was just time for new toilets. Okay, so in the tank, you're gonna have these bolts with this rubber washer here. I like to just put it up where it's gonna go anyway on the bolt. And then you're gonna back this off all the way. And the reason for that is, is you're gonna have this come down through there through the back of the tank, this bolt. And then you're going to lock this bolt in place inside the tank with this nut. But then when you put the tank on the bowl, you're ha gonna have another nut that's gonna secure the back of this tank to the bowl, okay? And for this, my guts inside this toilet are not conveniently located to be able to get a regular screwdriver down in there so I can turn this bolt. So what I'm doing is, is I've got the, I've got the reservoir, for, you know, the tank perched on my knee and then I'm securing this bolt by hand and um, to tell you the truth, it's one of those things where because it's a, a rubber washer grommet, uh, it doesn't need to be hard. In fact, you know, if you're reading any of your directions or instructions, uh, it's the warnings for not over tightening on these things are prevalent. I mean, this is ceramic, so you just don't have to over tighten anyway. Thumb your bolt through the bottom of your tank hole as best you can. Get your hand down in there if you can. And secure your bolt. So here's what this is going to end up looking like. Okay, so you got the bolt there, and you got a bolt there. So you see how the, the feed for the water is in the way of that bolt head? If we come up underneath here, and I'm manhandling this thing, so I apologize for the camera angle, but that's the back side of it. And you do this before you put the tank on, okay? I'm gonna set the phone down here again. better view okay I'm just checking tightness I'm looking at those rubber washers inside don't have to over tighten you don't want them mutilated from over tightening I am just gonna give it a quarter turn with the uh, pliers not too much okay all right so now with that we're ready to get the tank on and so uh, you know just check your your bushings there your bushings and try to line it up as best you can and then on she goes get down on my hands and knees here okay that was 
less than graceful, but it's on. Okay, so let's take a look and see how we seat it up here. So if you look down, I know that that's hard to see, but you can see that it's not lined up on that, that section here. And so this is where you get to start futzing with it. And it's it's difficult for me to to mess with it when uh, when I got the phone in my hand. So I'll just put you back up there for a minute. You can stare at the nothing. That is the new toilet. Now in this case, it may in fact be easier to just stick it on the bottom side of the tank. Okay, and that black bushing came off off the back, so I gotta go to find that. It went right down the hole, that's fun. Okay, so she's seated on there good. Now we can try to put it back on here. All right, here we go. Okay. There we have it. It's almost like we planned it that way. So I'm just giving it a quick spot check, taking a look. Looks like it's good on that side. And we've got our all of our bushings are lined up, so all of that is good. Check it once, check it twice, check it three times. Okay, fantastic. So then we'll come back. We've got our three little, got our three little additional nuts. Remember I said that you, you put those ones on. And what they do is they sit, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. They sit between the bowl and the tank. And so you take these other ones here and this is gonna pull in the tank flush with the bowl. Just get it hand tight for now. Same thing over here. It's much easier to see over here in general. Got a lot more room to work with. I don't have to worry about the cabinets. Okay, now it's gonna suck it up and make it flush. And again, we'll just do it hand tight. Same thing with the other side. You know, all the while you're doing this, it just it smells awful. Shout out to the plumbers and the guys doing the shitty work. All right, so same thing. Tighten that by hand. I'm just gonna give it I just another little quarter turn and then we're gonna call this a win. Okay. Yeah, that's nice and tight. It just doesn't, it just doesn't take much. Plastic. All right. Give that, I notice 
just his little gap back there. So, and then one more. There we go. Okay, so now we can check our tank. Tank's on there nice and solid. That's the hard part, it's done. You know, the hard part is done. So, <clears throat> now it's just really just putting on the easy stuff. At this point, though, you know, you can get your water feed, get it the way you want it looking. I kind of just like to make this kind of little S curve. Um, you don't have to use plumber's tape on here. I don't. It doesn't leak. Doesn't need any plumber's tape on any of these that I've ever changed out anyway. But just throwing that out there. I don't use it. You can use it if you want to. I don't care. Okay. Again, I'll probably just probably just do a little little turn here for with the uh, pliers. That's on there nice and solid. So yeah, you can tell that I'm a cameraman for a living. Okay, so uh, at this point we're ready to test to see if we've got any leaks. So we'll go ahead and turn our water supply back on. Filling up there. And we're just looking for leaks, leaks anywhere. So far, so good. This is obviously the intended outcome from that feed's perspective from that rubber bushing perspective. Because remember, toilet water hasn't entered the, the bowl entirely and we haven't flushed it entirely. So let's give that a try. That's gonna test that wax ring. You know, so we're looking around for water. We're looking around for water. Okay. I don't remember if I pushed half or full flush, but this white one here is the full flush. All right, so this is this is definitely the ideal outcome. Oh, I got a little mark here. I don't know what a, what it is though. It's just a little piece of something. Yeah. Okay. That's the other thing, is when you wear gloves, you know, and you're working with that wax ring, you gotta, gotta be careful not to get wax on your on your new unit. This is a really nice uh, setup that Gerber's done here. The nice elongated bowl, it's not round. And with the half flush and the full flush. Okay, so I don't see any water leaks yet. Let's go ahead and do a full flush one more time. Don't see any leaks see any leaks this is all good we don't see any running down those bolts because remember there's that rubber washer inside here inside the tank so we're checking for water in here we don't feel any I'm gonna check the other side don't feel any that bolt did get loose though about that Okay. All right. Yep, so that's all good. That's all good. So essentially, the whole, the whole goal here is to replace a toilet without any, having any leaks. And that we have done. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get the lid. The lid has those two options, right? So remember the, 
the full is the white flap and the gray is the half. Um, and so this particular unit is already articulated with that setting. So the blue goes into the gray and the black goes into the white. So I'll go ahead and set this down here for another, another second with a wonderful view through the grate. Again, not a cameraman. I do hope the video is of value to some folks though, because you know, you look at these videos and they're five minute videos and they just blow through. And just blow through and then, you know, I, don't, I just don't think it's indicative of how much time it actually takes. So we got a problem. This uh, shelving system that's above the toilet is getting in the way of the cover. So I'm gonna set you down so you can look at the trash. I'm gonna pull this forward and uh, try to figure out what I'm gonna do about that because the entire thing is articulated behind the toilet. So it's like, it's like Jenga. It has just become obvious to me that I'm going to have to move all of this stuff off of this uh, shelving, which is not not ideal because um, if we ever need to get into the toilet in a hurry, we're going to have to move everything off here again. But the wife loves her plants. That's not good. We don't even know what's back there. Looks like there's some sort of... Okay, that's a cactus. The cactus... The cactus has a rock on it that says dream. That's pretty cool, but... It's, uh, it's a nightmare for us to do toilets. So we're going to pull this whole thing off. Alright, yeah, see, you look at this thing. It's... Uh, so back to toilets. I'll put the phone up here. That gives you a good shot of the bowl. Already got some dirt in there. Pick that dirt out. Because that came from the, the window sill from the plants. Okay, so better cover. The, uh, the cover should already be tight. There's a nut on this thing. So if it does spin, just rotate it until it's tight and square. It should be fine. For the most part. Okay. So remember, white is full, and that's uh, signified by the bigger moon here. And you got the smaller moon is for the half. And these little threaded pegs are really gonna, what are going to push those switches and give us our uh, and give us our different kinds of flushes. Actually, I just found an imperfection in this too. It's not a deal breaker because nobody will ever see it, but it's. Didn't notice that before. Okay, so there we go. Now I'll test functionality of the full flush. And uh, then we can do a half flush. Too soon. So now I'll put the, uh, the rack back in place and we'll go over the seat installation in just a second. More time for you to stare at the garbage in the floor. I know this video is super exciting. I should do these all the time. Not a cameraman. Not an editor either. It just doesn't excite me. That's what you have a scroll bar for. If you get bored of me talking while you're staring it up and you can just scroll forward. Okay, so, man. Again, plumbers, man, I really feel for you. If you had to put up with all this, trash in your way, you know, and dirt and plants and whatever. 
sorry guys. I hope you get paid well to put up with that, dare I say shit. Okay. Alright, so we got the different plants going back up here. So now we're gonna do the seat. The seat on these are really easy. I love them. They're so much better than the older models where you had screws and all that stuff. These ones have pegs. They still have screws, but the seat actually connects to the pegs. And I, I do wonder if how much of a pain it is getting a replacement seat. I don't know if that's something that's proprietary to Gerber. I really don't care. <laughs> um, I'm, I'll care when it's broken and I need to replace it and probably will have issues sourcing one, but... Um, well, and of course I didn't bring up the toilet seat. Alright, stare at the floor longer. I'll be right back. last two toilet installs I did were on the second story, so I've just been bringing things up as I need them. And there's not a ton of room in these bathrooms. Okay, so this kit is really well organized too. You know, so everything you need for, for each section you approach with the, uh, the screws and the setups that you need. Okay, so I'll get my screws uh, set up here. So we'll have these uh, little monuments. I'm getting it built so I can just show you. And then they'll go on and then we've got a plastic washer that goes underneath and uh, as usual, a plastic nut. All right, and this is all independent of the seat which is, uh, I think, the coolest part about this whole setup. So uh, anyway, this is what it looks like. So this looks like a quarter-inch stereo jack, you know? Like if you're into music, it's kind of what it looks like. Um, but this piece fits into the toilet. This is the monument, and here's the screw. It's just a screw that goes in here. And then you've got the washer and the nut, which goes on the underside. Okay, so this isn't rocket science stuff. I'm questioning whether I should even just keep this in the video so that way you don't have to stare at the floor longer if I forget something. But we've come this far together. If you're still watching, you have an impressive attention span. Okay. On my last toilet, these nuts on the back side, probably by design, only had one little fin. Um, and they were, that fin was too big to pass this back side of the bezel of the ceramic. Um, so it, it literally couldn't back off. We're not gonna tighten it down too much yet. We're just gonna leave it because we need to figure out if we're square for the female uh, side of the toilet seat. Same thing on this guy. Bring him in here. Get our washer and our nut. And uh, away we go. Oh. 
Okay. So we're just going to kind of leave it right there. And we're going to check our spacing. Get into the toilet seat. These are slow flows toilet seats too. It's the uh, I mean, the slow closing of everything seems to be a requirement now for everything you do. Hardware for cabinets, hardware for toilets. Everybody's into slow close everything. Which is cool, but, you know, who doesn't want to slam a cupboard or two or get their finger pinched in some shit? I mean, we're, those were the days we grew up on. Um, okay, so, so here's the holes. Um, you know, again, it's not rocket science. We just want to make sure things line up and they don't. So this guy's going to come over a little bit, rotate him over. He's, he's still off. Rotate him over a little bit more. Okay. That looks like that's going to be good. So we'll just go ahead and just go ahead and check. Okay. Now you can adjust these once the whole toilet goes on. So just push down until you hear it click or feel it click and then you're ready to go um, and of course I didn't bring my screwdriver in here so more staring at the floor more staring that old wise saying keep your tools close to your job so you don't waste time yeah, I didn't do any of that. All right. So we've got the nuts up flush, so this should be able to be tightened from here. Remember, don't over tighten. Don't over tighten anything. Most important motto of toilets, don't over tighten anything. And then we have the vanity caps is the last step. Okay. So now we're going to take the toilet seat off and put the vanity caps on. We can take the toilet seat off easy. We just lift it up and first that's what happens when I make videos I forget easy things okay vanity cap that's what I told you earlier other people they're gonna edit that stuff out of their videos hell no I ain't gonna do that you're gonna see the whole goddamn thing cuz I'm gonna suffer like you okay so again, toilet, it's not rocket science. Then you just put it on until it clicks and you're good to go. Do one final function check. And you're done. That's it. Wait a